recently, over at Skunk Works, myself and Mukin Shwom decided to answer a question. Can you run the escape route from Kleischer Rehabilitation Center in reverse and break into prison? And the idea became a kind of mini obsession as we thought of ways to overcome the many obstacles in a route that was only ever intended to be run one direction. In the first part of this adventure, we created physical boxes from consumable items like soda cans. This being one of the few ways to get hold of a large supply of boxes in 3.14 and through a lot of trial and error used them to enter the first obstacle, the broken vent through which prisoners can finally leave the prison and see Aberdeen's sky above them. But beyond the vent and the long zigzag of tunnels near the surface, we came across a much larger obstacle, one that would take considerable box stacking to climb. And unfortunately, the boxes we were using were not as permanent as we initially believed. They de-instanced and disappeared as we made progress. We needed a different kind of box, one that would not despawn over a long period of time. And through past experience in dealing with the criminal elements of Stanton, I happened to know where a large supply of box-like items could be acquired. The bunker was a stash house in use by one of the criminal gangs near Arncorp, and the parcels of drugs can be successfully stacked as you can see here. There were also a lot of them available to take. We'd be using huge quantities of drugs to break into prison. I had backup on the way, but the terror on the bunker would need to be eliminated first. Yeah, Mark, approach it. Yeah, I do. Look at that. Look you she go. <laughs> That's where the audio just kicked on for the game. <laughs> he uh, overshot at all. You want these nice and organized in there? I could jump up in there and. <laughs> oh, actually, I mean, yeah, why not? It would, it would look good. It would please okay. Mukin Schwan. It's Kimo's idea to, 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 to grab the drugs. <laughs> we we were using like like the boxes you could make from your inventory items like you know cans of drink and stuff. They they're really unstable. Holy crap! Look at this goddamn interior. I'm gonna t I'm gonna take this up to orbit for now, right? Just so we can tidy things up, make sure that everything's secure. Do you want to follow me up in the carrack? Okay. Okay, excellent. We'd be taking this load into orbit to get it tidily set aside in the colourless red. We'd be coming back for another load though, but this would mean storing the ship at Pagini Point Station, and I had to be extra careful not to get scanned on the journey in. Because Lusky, you could park your caterpillar, but Grim Hex, you couldn't park your caterpillar. Do you know what's weird as I'm flying around? I think it's because everything's stacked up. I can hear like the kind of packages shuffling around <laughs> back there. So it's, it's really interesting. Okay. Landing. Landing complete. We'd head back down, this time in a cutlass black, and gather up even more parcels of drugs this time around. Ah, oh. unloaded. <laughs> Can't say that. He's up, he's up. Back up. Got him. Good work. Someone suggested using this as, your, as a rifle. Oh my god, it's got some stopping power. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all I use for my normal rifle. Okay. They need to be on the yellow. I mean, right there's the line. I think where I am, you can just, you can just throw right. them right out the door like this. That is actually pretty good. Got it. Okay. Excellent. Look at that. I, can't believe... I 
Cutlass is coming. Yeah. The Cutlass Red would be flown to Everest Harbour above Hurston for immediate use, while the Cutlass Black would be stored at Graham Hex for a later run. Muke and Sean wasn't around just yet and I wanted to head in just to proof out the concept, see if the drugs were usable for our purposes. Getting a cutlass into this hole is never quite straightforward, and today would be no exception. And with the positioning I ended up with, the only way back aboard would be to suicide and respawn in a medical bed. I did however find that I could cut down on the number of boxes we originally used by quite a lot and still get a good ramp. With the entry process of jumping into a corner where the ground is solid, now getting easier to do. Now I'm cutting this whole process down enormously here, but moving all of these packages through the zigzag of tunnels near the surface, this took a lot of time. There were four lengths of tunnel, then the code room. Each box needs to be individually moved along each of them, and then through the code room. But once there, at last I could build. But here's the thing about this room. Neither the floor nor the wall itself are even or flat, and as you build, the influence of these details becomes ever greater. It took some time, but something traversable was emerging. The jumping is inaccurate because the boxes wobble and when you jump you further displace them. And if you make the wrong move... I had lost too many of the packages. This run was over but conceptually the drugs had worked. When Muke and Sean was back we needed to pick up the second load from Grim Hex and then transfer them to the Cutlass Red. The risk of dying in the holes in the floor outside the first vent was still a very real possibility. And now retrieve the Cutlass filled with contraband. But now they're not going to be real. We took off from Daymar where we could load the ships from my ship to Mucan Shrooms. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there you are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's perfect. Right. <laughs> no, now, luck. We'll get a police ship come along. You're like, what are you up to? What's all this about? What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to try and not hit you while I do this. Okay. Maybe I should just come over to your side. Of... Wow, that is a lot of stuff. What yes, is, it is the weird shaped box? Oh, we found like crates as well. Like just things that were like anything that we could grab when we were in that bunker, we just grabbed it. Question is though, look at me, because you are like the master of building. When you look at this pile, does a vision of a great ladder appear to you? We might have to get access to our to the red again. We're, we're closing the doors, basically, what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But oh my now. god, yeah. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> like... It's amazing how full we're making things over here. It's like looking at the amount we've got. Like, we've, we've got way more, I think, than we, need, than we need to make, in principle, what we think would be a good ladder way, ladder way up. But in practice, the ladders have to be a lot more sturdy than I think initially thought because they fall down quite easily. And the problem is, right, where, where we're positioning it, I had this problem last time. If they fall, the higher levels, oh, you're going to lose so many to like the, that, that pit with the fan. Mm -hmm. There was still so many.
but before we were done, we would get an unwelcome surprise. So looking at the the right, right. Oh, uh -oh. Attack. we're being attacked. Being attacked. I'm jumping the pilot seat. Pilot, pilot seat ham. Me too. Oh, this is unfortunate. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna need help. I'm on it. Okay, he's gone. We need to. Do you now? I do no, not. No, we don't. I think that was a criminal. I, do I don't think it was Navy. I think it was criminal. We decided to move out to a random spot of empty space between Dayma and Crusader L1 to finish the transfer. There we go. Now I'm jumping. Do you know? Who's going to see you? I like that. Like, oh, not. Uh, they're not there. Yeah, yeah. I've seen some videos, some of my videos, even, yeah. And uh, 315, everything's there again and well animated. Alright, that was it. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's, there's, no. there's a couple more, but mostly. Mostly we're done, yeah. It's all out. And finally, we were on our way to Hurston, with the intention of heading straight to the moon, Aberdeen. We shut down the Comrade to prevent the kind of crime stat buildup we saw in the last video, and head to the prison for the breaking attempt. This is uh, on the default Carrick drive. The, the spool up is like 40 seconds. Uh, it's like a stupid long time. Are we looking daytime or nighttime for this thing? But for the second time on this journey, we get a surprise of a different kind this time around, though. Oh, there you want to come, come, come with me first, yeah? Attention. I have shit, been shit. to scan your vehicle oh. for security purposes. Okay. Please hold your vehicle and stand by. We are jumping. Are we being scanned? We are so much trying to scan us. Pilot, this scan is compulsory. You will be arrested if you do not bring your vehicle to an immediate halt. Okay, okay. I probably got a fine for that. Maybe a crime start, I don't know. But we'll jump again to be safe. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Running from the cops, eh? <laughs> We can't get scanned. We've got like, we've got like, we've got all of the drugs on board. Like all of the drugs. <laughs> yeah. We travelled immediately to the Comrade. We are going to be fired upon, though, right? I don't think we will. No, no, because you get right. So, with the turrets, they don't. And if they don't fire at you and uh, fire on you until it becomes a crime, and you have, if you go like full speed, you've got plenty of time to fly by the Comrade before it becomes a crime. Wishing to avoid any risk to our cargo, we decided to hot drop at the array. And I am jumping. Alright, you out? I, I, yeah, oh, I see the station, yeah. Okay, I see the entrance. Much appreciate it. This is, a, this is a goddamn adventure right here. <laughs> yeah, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong, but we're still around. Down we go to the console. I've got a ripper, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, we are in to the system. I'm shutting down the com right now. What we're going to do is look out for that maintenance mission as well for restoring it. Disconnect uplink. Proceed. I'm linked down. All right, I'm checking the missions right away. With the array down, it really did feel like we were about to break new ground in this little project of ours. Hey, I'm a boy, I'm a boy. Please around. We're good. Next stop, Kleisha. And another interesting discovery was made as we approached. I named it. We'll be treated according to local laws. 
don't have the trespass warning. I, they, they sent a message through saying you are trespassing. Like, mm -hmm. but I don't oh, see. Yeah, I, heard it too. I don't see any trespass warning there. Like, you know, the, the government property warnings. The turrets only engage if you have a crime stat, and with the array down, you don't get a trespassing charge. We were free to take our time this time around. These are not sliding doors in the Cuddy Red, right? No, they're like air Oh, that, that could have been catastrophe if I don't know. Okay, let's get into the hole here first. Okay, yeah, let me know when you want me to open the door so that you can So I said it last time, and I, I'll say it this time. You imagine someone breaking out of prison right now. Oh my god! <laughs> and we further reduced the number of boxes needed to get in. Um, so I'm going. To, I'm going to try and get up there so I can move them into the tunnel, because then we can set up a chain, you know. Nice. All right. I'm. I'm just gonna fill up the, the walkway. With a tractor beam chain, moving the boxes was much faster. And soon Mukin Sean was atop the vent too, with the pile of drugs inside the prison growing larger and larger. How did you do this all alone? <laughs> with a lot of patience and determination. Like that's it, it's like, you've got, you've got to really want it, yeah, I think. How many are left? Is that it? That's it. Okay, we can leave them in space, we might need them when they're coming back in or something, but Jesus. Like, you have to jump to the far side of this pile, by the way. Wow. Like, I think we can probably just brute force our way in. <laughs> Again, with two people, you can cover all four tunnel lengths between you using an L-shaped tractor path. We were getting so close to starting to build again. But there are always ways things can go wrong, and a problem we are all too familiar with would reveal itself at the worst possible moment. Oh. We were defeated on this run by a 30k server crash. I will admit that this was a low point on our mission to get into the prison, and we need some time to build our motivation for another run. But we would be back, we would not give up, and maybe, just maybe on the next attempt, we get our first taste of success. I'd like to thank all of you for watching until the end, and send out a huge thank you to our patrons. In this video, I would especially like to thank David Hazlitt, Sneak X, and Justin Vanderhelden, who recently became supporters of the channel over on Patreon. Thank you guys for your very generous support. Patreon support is what allows me the time to edit these videos, and I am extremely grateful you guys consider me worth backing. If anyone watching would like to start playing Star Citizen themselves, but hasn't yet signed up, you can use the referral code in the description to gain an extra 5,000 credits in-game when signing up for an account. We'll be back with part 3 of our prison break-in, as well as the very first exploits of the Rebel Raccoons, very soon.